A couple of years ago, he said that he wants to take Africa to the world and it seems like he has taken Africa to the universe because there is no point that you're going to find this guy just straight chilling at home, not doing anything. He is always working. He's a multiple award winner and I'll call him the master at his craft. And he finally joins us today on Afternoons with the Zueli. It is Saddle Musician. What's happening, bro? Hey, bro. I'm good, man. What's happening? Ah, uh, I'm all good. I am yeah. all good. I hear that, yeah, you've had a very busy... I mean, your schedule is quite busy and yeah. you made time to actually come here to yeah. Afternoons with Zueli at 947. So, thank you very much no, for that. No, man. You know, this is home for me, bro. You yeah. Know, you know, so... Uh, it made sense for me to be here, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Now, your schedule, I mean, you're everywhere, like I was saying now. You're playing so many different concerts and festivals and your own gigs all over the continent, all over the world. It seems quite grueling. Are you not tired? Bro, when you're doing what you love, you know, you kind of uh-huh. forget that you're tired. But I am <laughs> tired. I don't want to lie. Yeah. Physically. Uh, but I'm really happy with everything that's just happening to mm. me. You know, just meeting with people at Rocking the Daisies and, yeah, yeah you know, you know the story. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you prefer being on the road or in studio? <sighs> Two years ago, I would have said uh, I enjoy being in studio. Uh-huh. But now I really enjoy just seeing people just going crazy. Yeah. You know, like people just screaming. It's yeah. great. I think what activated that as well was uh, because of COVID. Mm. Because we were so away from the people. We couldn't perform. We couldn't go out and yeah. just feel the energy. Yeah. I think before that, I, I took it for granted. Uh-huh. You know. And then once we were in that space then, I was like, okay, cool. I really miss being, just seeing people, you know, just yeah. dancing to the music. You know? yeah. Um, yeah. So now I'm kind of in between now yeah Mm -mm. what are you doing when you're actually not working (laughs) because i think everyone has an idea of sanal musician always working doing something so when you're just relaxing what is it that you're actually doing i watch a lot of talkies i love history i love history uh i love sports as well you know yes uh, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I haven't played in, in in a while. I love cricket and soccer. Those uh-huh. are my my babies. You play a lot of sports in your music videos. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, <laughs> a I lot. thank God from Saki. You know, <laughs> yeah, she's always just trying to activate that. It's like, hey, no, show them, Captain. Yeah. yeah, that's what she calls it. It's like, just show them what you used to do before. So yeah, yeah. so that's what I basically do. I watch a lot of docus, movies, mm. series. You know, typical mm. things, really. Yeah. All right, and yeah. you said you watch soccer. Who do you support? I, no, I. <laughs> Uh, be I, 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 I know I left. I left that field of supporting a long time ago. Pro- I, they broke my heart. They broke my heart. Uh, I was Chiefs locally, oh, and uh, oh, I still am. Yeah, uh, yeah. I still, you know, even though I, I would say I'm not longer supporting Chiefs, but if they yeah. lose, it's just that little thing in my heart. So I'm like, why, yeah, like, guys? Ah, really? I know. Oh. So yeah, I guess I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Look, we need to get this big fat pink elephant out of the room so rocking the daisies happened i was on the stage i was going crazy the videos are doing the rounds the people don't know what actually happened and how i landed up there i also don't so just a very quick brief short story how did i land up on the stage with yeah you? i saw i was late firstly there so i got there you and can't I'll, tell us you're late because okay. galaxy's coming out <laughs> i'll be i'll be earlier that, okay definitely i'll cool. make sure of that so here i was Got off the kumbi. I'm running to uh, the Savannah stage, right? Yes, That's it, what was, I was, playing. it yeah. was, it was. So I saw this one guy. I'm like, I, mean, I know this face. Oh. And I'm like, Zueli. <laughs> and then you're like, who's that? <laughs> and then I turn around and I, and I looked at you. I was like, oh, son, oh, where am I going? I'm like, oh. I'm going to the Savannah stage. He's like, I'm coming with you. I'm like, let's go, bro. And then I left all my friends. And then, that's it. Oh, you were done. Goodness. You were just next to me throughout. Oh. But funny enough, when I finished the set, I was looking for you. You were nowhere to be found. Where did you go? I think I was probably escorted to my tent. I see. Oh, I was carried in actual fact. Yes. <laughs> it was bad. It was that bad. It was that bad. But hey, look, we've got some more that are still coming up, of course, so with Side of Musician. But I want to ask you quickly, because we're getting yeah. into your massive number one hit with Msaki from 2020, I think, Obomi Abomanga. Yeah. And you did African electronic dance music. It was that album. Yeah. Very quickly, how important was it for you to almost do a bit of a switch up? Because we're used to, you know, some of your Soulful. songs and yeah. stylistically, and yeah, then this yeah. was just such a shock to the system, but beautifully at that. Yeah, amazing. You know, I think I, with AEDM, I just wanted to explore the club side of, of, of 
richest son of a musician. Mm. I've, I've always, I've always felt like I've always made like radio, uh, uh, TV ra- yeah. friendly music. You know, then I just wanted to go a little bit of a club vibe to it, but not lose the soulfulness of it. So uh, that was the whole mission. I think that's where I'm going actually because I, right. I want to play more festivals and other things. You know, oh, so nice, it'll nice. Fit, so it'll be perfect fit. Yeah. So that would mean that you are working on new music. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Because the last time we spoke to you, you're like, yeah, yeah, there's something coming, something coming. And two weeks <laughs> later, you drop best friend, and we're like, oh, that's what he was talking about. Yeah. Well, no, that's just like something. I it's the video that I always just had that I was just I wanted to just do, but I have mm. like new material that. I've, oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We we love the new material. Yes, sir. It's Sadal musician. He is still in the studio. We're going to chat all things Galaxy Nine Four Seven move next, as well as what it is that you can expect from him and. We're going to try and get a favor out of Sun Al. We'll see what it is. He took me on stage already. We're going to see what he can do for you. Sun Al Musician still in the studio. We're having a conversation, of course, ahead of Galaxy 947 Move. And uh, I mean, look, let's quickly talk about this event. You've hit the Joburg Day stage so many different times. Yeah. And it's always been, I guess, during the day, it was yeah. in the park. And now this is... The main one, the massive, massive festival. Yeah. How excited are you for bro. the 4th of November? <laughs> <laughs> I'm extremely, extremely excited, bro. You know, um, just thinking about it right now, I'm just mm. getting goosebumps. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> finally I'm playing the, the, the real main stage, you know? Yeah. Um, but it's been an exciting thing for me, you know. Mm. I remember the first time, I still have footage of it. The first time I played on 947, you know. Uh, yeah. It was very scary. I don't want to lie. Yeah. I didn't know what to, to play because all the songs were still new. I didn't know if people would know them. You know, it's just a very scary process. But now, um, I'm slightly, a little bit comfortable, you know, because I know the songs are known and um, yeah. and just, I'm just somewhat used to playing to like, a massive crowd and, yes. and, and festivals I'm getting used to it it used to be like super overwhelm me mm. uh, but one thing I like about your stage and your setup uh, you know with 947 always just brilliant um, the way they are able to move the DJ booth yes <laughs> I struggle with this because every time I'm like, you guys come move this booth just a little, yeah. forward, a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> They're like, no. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Then I guess it's just the awesomeness of 947, yeah? Yeah, we, we do think world class over here, yeah, Sanal. Man. You yeah. know, we, we can't play with you guys. You're no. a world class act, so we've got Thank to have you. a world class stage. Thank you know you what I mean? Yeah. You're amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're amazing. And you spoke while we're off air, actually, because I know that sometimes you bring out some surprises on yeah. the stage and you've worked with so many different artists across different genres. Okay. And good luck, another good friend of the station. Yeah. Murmurs, rumors that you are spilling here that you guys yeah. are working together. <laughs> hey? Yeah, definitely. I'm working. We're working on something. Um, yeah, I'll say we're on sixty percent of it. Damn. I haven't actually made them listen to it. Okay, so yeah. you're holding on to it. Yeah, I'm still. holding on to it. Yeah, uh, I was meant to call Jules. Uh, maybe I'll call her after this. I'm like, okay, I think I've done something. You know, I don't want to share it with her or with them, rather. Yeah. Um, until I feel like it's somewhat close to where I feel like it's really beautiful. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I can hear it. Yeah. I can feel the energy. But yeah. Yeah. Are you one of those artists where you you almost hang on to your music until you feel? 100% comfortable and you're like okay yeah now I feel like I can release this to someone else to critique in a yeah, sense yeah, if definitely, that makes sense definitely especially if I'm working with uh, it's a collaboration like with Good Luck because I'm a fan of Good Luck before yeah. everything else you know so it's like I want to make sure I impress them yeah I want them to once they listen to it, it's like this is it thank you that's yeah. all I, I, I need from them um, yeah yeah so I'm a, I'm a perfectionist okay a Definitely. perfectionist yeah. Yeah. yeah and I want to find out as well from you how important is friendship to you within you know this industry particularly because I think everyone always hears the bad side and all the rumors and yeah. ah, this one's beefing with that person but you yeah. generally seem to just get along with everyone and everyone yeah. that you work with I yeah. mean I'm psyche you guys have recorded so many different songs together yeah. and how important is it to you you know, to almost maintain a friendship within a working relationship, if I can yeah. put it that way. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. I mm. never, I never, I've never had that before, um, Saki. Uh-huh. I'll tell you that for sure. Uh-huh. I've had, always had just friends, you know, just distant in a way. Yeah. But then when I met Msaki, she came at a very at a stage where it was very tough for me you yeah. know I was yeah. kind of in, in in a way I was just not my trust. I was having trust issues 
brother you know i was just going through that phase of like wow people are just here to take and leave da 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 mm-hmm. and then she came in like hey this is who i am yeah. i've gone through the same thing uh don't worry mm-hmm. i'm here for you and I was like, huh, maybe you're here to take something or so. And then she's, she was around and just stuck around for a while. I'm like, okay, she's yeah. cool. She's cool. And then, you know, I kind of regained my trust for, for people and mm. artists and, and the system. But it's yeah. a tough one, though. It's, it's, it's not I can easy. Imagine. It's not easy. I can yeah. imagine, yeah. Because yeah. also not everyone is out there with the right intentions. Exactly. At the end of the day, and you've always got to make sure that you're looking out for stuff like that hey, as well. Hey. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. And speaking of trust and intentions... We've been on the stage together. Yeah. Do you trust me? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. So Even, don't disappear the next time. <laughs> Let's <laughs> so wrap up the set. Yeah, I want to see you okay. after the set. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Think, I'm thinking maybe we should do this at Galaxy 947. Let's move. try it. Let's try it. So we're going to try it. Yes, sir. Okay. So since you trust me, then I, I'm going to keep you just for a few more seconds. And there's a favor that I'm going to have to ask you about oh, Galaxy 947. Oh, move. gosh. <laughs> He said yes before he even knows what it is. So this is your fault at the end of the day. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, uh, I'm done. Let's yeah. find out what I'm up to. And trust me, you are going to be the biggest winner of all of this. I've said that there's a favor that I need to ask of him. He's very sick of me at this stage. <laughs> are you ready to hear what it is that yeah. we need you to do for us? Give it to me as well. Okay. So Galaxy 947 move is on the 4th and 5th of November. So I know you'll be headlining the 4th, right? Yep. Now, rocking the daisies, I went up and I was there on stage with you. I'm thinking, okay, no. first of all, am I, am I allowed back on the stage for Galaxy 947 move? Yeah, yeah. I am. Is, yeah. Okay, so I don't cause too much disruption last Please, time. Please, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I bring a few people? Yeah, you can. I can. How many? I'm thinking about... 15 to 20. You're going to manage that, right? You're going to be there. I'm going to manage it. Everything's going to be fine. I've got some people. There's an Instagram page called the 947 list. Okay. Where some people are exclusively going to get invited. And then people who buy tickets as well from now on, they can also get invited to come onto the stage. Are you cool with that? As long as you will be able to manage that. I'm going to manage all of it. Okay. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm cool with it. You're coming on stage with Sun of Musician at Galaxy 9 <laughs> Yeah! We did it, Joe. We did it. So you, 15 people, and you could be one of them. You're going to be joining Sun of Musician live on the stage at Galaxy 947 Move. I will be there as well. So, yeah, we're going to have Jiwas one hell of the time definitely man yeah my bro thank you so much thank once you. again for thank making you. the time and yeah coming through to the studio beautiful that means that I'll get you ruin your night one last time on the 4th of November hey let's go and let's then do we'll this see well. how December pans out because <laughs> we're going on a world tour right now as it stands I should be asking for half of the booking fee as it stands right now because I'm right there as well if I not you know what I mean definitely <laughs> why wait until after dark to have a good time I'm only here for a good time Afternoons with Zwelly. Zwelly. Monday to Friday, 12 till 3. <laughs> this, 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 this is 947. 947.